What is happening, everyone? How are we all? Welcome to the Kickoff Countdown. I'm your host, the SE Whisperer, coach of the Ramsey Resurgence. How are we all doing tonight? Hopefully, we are all strapped in for a fantastic week when it comes to Supercoach. It comes around so, so quick. It feels like uh, a couple of days ago that I was stressing out over last round score, but yet we are here. Hopefully, we are all good. As you can see, my trades are there. Fucking point there. Uh, we're trading out Jeremiah and Nenai. Just pretty self-explanatory. The bloke has peaked in price. He is, what, 79 break even. Definitely made all his cash. Uh, trading out Jermaine Snow Brown because he is doing a sweet FA. Um, yeah, just a lot of mouths to feed there at... Uh, a lot of mouths to feed at, what's it called, at the Cowboys. But... Mm, um, didn't you take for a piece TV? Oh, um, sorry, distracted by the chat. Um, yeah, so we're trading out Jermaine Snow Brown, not doing a whole lot, and it allows us to move around some dual players to, f- to strengthen our team a little bit better. And we're bringing in Brody Jones. I understand that Brody Jones has this, this concern uh, over his hamstrings, but I've got to bring him in regardless. Same thing, we took a punt on Cooler last week, didn't really work out, but... Playing it safe a little bit with the trades, we were definitely looking at today. For you guys that tuned into the podcast, you know how much I was stressing over this Tedesco trade, but the way my team is structured, I just don't, didn't have a really solid captain option. So, yeah, I wanted to just pass up on that. And look, if it, if it goes pear shaped this week for Teddy, then we can definitely move him on for Taff, bring Hines down. Um, we can then bring in IPAP and Haas. Like, we have the cash to bring in two absolute gun front row forwards. And that position is set for the year. So in saying that, this is kind of how we're running heading into this round. There is con- some, some concern over Jai Arrow uh, and his sort of face. I think he's got like a um, some swelling, a, a wound or, or whatever. Uh, but this is, yeah, this is kind of how we're, we're heading in. If Arrow is out, the bunnies play the bulldog. So we will just bring in Max King. Max King will start for us if Arrow is out. Um, if not, this is going to be kind of how we run it this week. So... Um, yeah, basically, basically that. Pretty uh, like happy overall. Like gun fullbacks, gun halves, a gun five eighth uh, that we could potentially try and upgrade to two gun five eighths eventually. Uh, front row forward looks much better now that we got Tambololo up there, so we have two decent options in Arrow and Tambololo. Um, Max King is fine, but yeah, it's just not on the caliber of those two. Uh, Isaac Tago, we really want to get him down to to RF. Uh, sorry, down from to RF to centre wing eventually. Don't really know how I'm going to do it because I'm probably just going to hold Sean Russell. We've come this far with Sean Russell, so we may as well just hold him. Um, we could potentially trade at Vaella, move Tago down and bring someone in, but Vaella's on the extended bench, so he's not too far away. So overall, pretty happy with the side. We definitely want to be upgrading Hooker. Um, Chris Randall has got a negative break even this week. And probably have a negative break even next week. And then we'll look to move him on. Ideally, it would be for Harry Grant. But I can't find the cash anywhere. So we might just go to Cook. Uh, or even just move Cotter up. Like we can... The plan was if Teddy stunk it up again. Teddy out. Uh, Taffy and Hines down. Um, Randall out. Firma out. Ipat Haas in. Just via Jewel. So... That's probably how we were going. Uh, let's get into some questions now. You've seen my side and how we're running. Um, let us know what you guys are thinking. Tedesco Trade can wait till next week if he fails. Yeah, uh, that's that's what I inevitably came down to. I don't think he goes less than 50 regardless this week. So even if he goes for like 60 points, at 40 points under his break even, won't lose a whole lot of cash. Like It won't be enough to cripple you. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The... the 85 points, I think, is like Teddy's benchmark for him to, to, to stay in my side next week. Um, show reserve Schneider, yes. Uh, well, it depends on your team. But yeah, like good good matchup against the Cowboys. Should score some points. Go from there. Uh, like the trades. Thoughts on bringing in Moses to cash in next week for Cleary. Well, I had a bold prediction that Moses is going to have a quiet game this week. So, I don't know. Like he still says, like, he still says... He's going to make cash, obviously, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know why. I've got, got this gut feeling that like, it's just happened every week, hasn't it? Like the guy that people have mass traded in has, has not done well. So that's, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what do I think of Cook as my captain? Absolutely not because he's playing so early on in the round. Great, good VC option. Wouldn't be captaining. 
Um, play three, bench three out of... I mean, let me scroll back up so I can see this. Play three, bench three out of Randall, Talakai, Schneider, Ilias, Coates, or Taff. So I'd be playing Talakai. I'd be playing Schneider. And I'd probably play Ilias or Taff. That's a call on you that you'd have to make. Um, God, there's plenty of plenty of, of chat here. Shout out to TK. Uh, how you doing, man? Thank you for joining us. Shout out, shout out to, to TK. For anyone that is playing NFL fan, or NFL fantasy, for anyone that's playing NRL fantasy, um, I'm playing it this year. I really recommend going and checking out TK's podcast. Um, this is his. Where is he? This is his YouTube channel. But just search um, Talking League on all your podcast platforms. TK is my go-to for NRL fantasy news. Um, so, yeah, go check out TK. Awesome, awesome dude. Uh, hey champ, all is well. I just got champed. Champed on my own stream. Hope all is well with you and your family. Have two dilemmas. Would rather bring in Fafita? Would you rather bring in Fafita or Lolo for Frizzell? And who do I leave out of my center wings? Suli, Hiku, or Kula? First things first, man. I'm doing okay. Just uh, a little bit burnt out this week after everything that just, yeah, 200 messages a day, which I love getting from you guys. But sometimes when my phone doesn't shut up, it does get a little bit... Ugh, sometimes, so I just need to have a week timeout from answering DMs. As for your dilemma, um, Fafita is a, such a great shout this week. He's running up against Foran, running up against uh, Brad Parker on that side as well. Like That could be really, really tasty. Um, who is the other back row? Andrew Davey. So it's Davey, Parker, and Foran Edge, which could be like unreal to run at. Would I rather bring in Fafita or Lolo? I just prefer Lolo because of the duel. I think it helps out a lot. Um, for Frizzell, who hasn't really fired since the first couple of weeks, um, and then leaving out, I would probably leave out... The Dragons have an okay matchup this week, don't they, from memory? I would have to have a look at who they're playing, but I think from memory, the Dragons don't have a terrible matchup. The St. George, they are playing... My app wants to load... Yeah, they're playing, they're playing the Knights. So I'd play Suli. Um, and yeah, I would leave out probably Cooler because I just don't really know what that's going to be like. Uh, if I. What happens to the Rate My Team episodes? I was just doing them all in the preseason, man. Um, I mean, I do two pod. Two podcasts a week and a live stream, make posts all day, every day, work a full-time job. So, can't really commit to doing that. I also have my own hobbies outside of work. Um, so, the Rate My Teams were all pre-season stuff. Um, but, yeah, that's probably why they're not happening. Mate, I'm stuck on Ponga. Do I third trade boost for, for Ilias or go another mid-range? I just feel you got to hold Ponga. If you come this far with Ponga, you got to hold. I wouldn't be trading to Ilias. Um, that feels a little bit redundant to for me, my man. Um, hey, Joshy, hope you're doing well, brother. I'm in a real conundrum with Nanai and Amone out for Brody Jones and Cooler. Yep. Nanai and Hiku out for IPAPs and Cooler. Selling so weeks, I want to get Amone out, but need points. So Amone has just been coming off the bench, so not ideal. What, what's his break even sitting at? Amone, center wing for St. George. What a what a just a, what a disaster he has been this year, Talatau Moan. Look, his break even's forty six. He's at two hundred. He's already lost your fifty k. I just feel like you just just hold a moan. Like I know you, if you don't have to play him, awesome. I'd definitely be getting eye in if you could. Uh, heading off the grid from tomorrow morning. Trades are locked, but super stressed with laid outs. Wish me luck. Good luck, my man. Uh, the only major one that we can tell right now is Chris Randall, whether he's had COVID or not. But there seems to be some clarification that was just a scare. Um, and he should be fine. And then Jai Arrow is the only one that's sort of in doubt for now. I know I have Tamalolo, but would you trade him in if you don't have him? Note he is coming in for Nano. Yeah. There's no really other front rowers that are really doing it for me that I would run out to get. So Lolo could be fine. Don't expect 2018 Lolo. But he's punching out 65s, which is perfectly fine. Uh, Teddy and Haas for IPAP and Cleary. What do you think? I wouldn't be trading out Teddy or Haas. I mean, Haas is out for a week. He's back next week. And Teddy, like, I've gone against it just because I feel like he's the best captain option this week. Really hung up on Cook versus Grant. I am pro Cook, uh, my man. Thoughts on Moses, captain? I mean, I've, I've already said my bit on uh, Moses. I feel like he might be in for a quiet game this week. So maybe steer clear from that. That's just my two cents. Uh, Cotter name to start. Yes, so Cotter is coming in for uh, Cohen Hess. And he's playing prop. 
probably just how Molo playing prop and Cotter 13. Doesn't really matter, but Cotter is starting, which is nice. Uh, hi, mate. Is it true that Randall got COVID? Um, I think he had a false positive test. So he had a positive test and came back false. So according to Barry Tui, he is all good to play. Um, yeah. Cleary's break even has me scared. Do I trade Cleary, Crichton, and JTB for IPAP, Moses, and Stags? Absolutely not. That's just a ridiculous trade, my man. I don't know why we'd be getting Cleary then just to trade him out because of a break even. Just set and forget. Uh, what do I think about putting the VC on May and Captain on Tedesco versus the Warriors? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of love for the May VC. Uh, I don't hate it. Got to get some stocks on that Panda side. I think they could put up an absolute cricket score uh, in their game this weekend. Hiku to Cooler, Amon to Brody Jones, Viatago, Billy Smith to iPad via Firma. I like all those trades, man. They're really, really nice trades. Yeah, I like all those trades. Olakawatu uh, and Liam Martin to IPAP and Andrew Fafita, Alec McDonald, or Jai Arrow. Wow, well, there's a lot happening here. So, first things first, why do you still have Otoya Kamanu? Secondly, I wouldn't be bringing in Fafita or Alec McDonald. I wouldn't be trading on Jai Arrow either. I just don't really think you need to make trades. I need to look at your team, but like, I don't really like any of those trades. I'm going to be early. Um, where are we at? Can we hear my thoughts on getting Brody Jones? Of course, my man. So, the bloke averaged 51 points a game last year, starting in the back row. Um, and yeah, even at, even at a 47, 48 average, he is scheduled to make $130,000 by the end of round 11, which is when Lachlan Fitzgibbon is coming back. So, yeah, I think there's plenty of cash to be made when he is fully fit. Just got to, and if he just crashes over for a try, it's going to be an rolling average. It's going to be great. 275k, the best option to bring in for Nanai, in my opinion, considering Nanai has peaked. Uh, May or Pat VC? I would go Pat. I just like the goal kicking. Um, thoughts on Teddy, Wilton, and Momorowski to Moses, Mido, and Kula. I like those trades a lot. Um, Firma or Jay King or Ilias for last reserve. I think you're just going to go the 80 minute forward in Firma, my man. Um, can I wait a week before going up to Grant? Currently have Starling and Randall. Well, Starling, sorry, Rand, Starling, you have to keep, I feel like. He's playing 80, he's locked in for 80, which is awesome. Um, Grant is getting up there in price. I'd have to have a look at his break even. Um, he obviously came in at a decently reduced rate. So his break even is 54, so he's not going to burn you too much. He'll probably go up to 700k. So if you can find the extra 500k to go from Star uh, Randall to Grant next week, I would, I would be doing that. Um, Jason Tamalolo is 65 minutes plus. I'm thinking about 60, 62, 63. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed. So, I see Cooler getting benched next week. No, I don't. Um, yeah, I just feel like he was named at fullback. Uh, last week, was ruled out with that knock, but overall, like, he should be there. Um, Captain Pappy or Dylan Brown? I would go Dylan Brown. Grant's still a trade in this week. Apparently, he's not playing the full 80. Um, I don't see him playing the full 80 either. I think Wishard takes 10 to 12 minutes off him. Um, but, yeah, still a decent option, obviously. Crichton for Campbell Graham. I like that move. I really like Campbell Graham uh, moving forward. If he if he does manage to miss Origin, he will be a fantastic pickup. Tua Lungi out for Brody Jones. I wouldn't be doing that, man. I still feel Tua Lungi has got some room to make cash. Uh, thoughts on Hiku? Oh, sorry. Uh, Teague and Randall. Oh, God. Teague and Randall to Cookie and Brody Jones. Uh, that'll give me Cook and Grant. I like that, man. Good stuff. Uh, Teague is very up in the air right now. What's, ha what's happening with him? Uh, thoughts on Hiku and JTB to Kula and Graham. I like it. Uh, thoughts on IPAP and Moses to Taff and Teddy. Hang on. Thoughts on IPAP, Moses and Taff for Teddy, Yo and Schneider. No, I don't like, I don't like those moves personally, my man. Uh, thoughts on giving Nana another chance. N nothing to do with giving him, him another chance, my man. Um, I'd give him all the chances in the world if I could, but he has an 80 break even and this game is all about making money for your end team. And if he does manage to have another stinker, that's 50 points under his break even, and the money will be gone. So that's my stance. Hey, mate, would you grab IPAP and Jones for current and Lolo, or all current and Lolo? Um, I would grab current and Lolo out of those two, my man. Um, Cotter or Holly? Oh, Cotter or Holly. Um, I was in that decision as well. I ended up going Cotter just for the money grab, but obviously Hamole has the, the higher ceiling. Um, what score does Teddy need to get to not flop this round? I would say 85. Anything under, I'm selling. 
I need to get some sleep. Anything over, I'd be holding. Uh, I've got the captaincy on him, so hopefully he does well. Um, can Clyde be a long-term second hooker to Grant, or would you need to trade him eventually? Probably have to trade him eventually. He will, he will cap out. Um, I think you want to finish with Cook and Grant. That's the end goal. Or Cook and Marnie if Marnie... Oh, sorry, Grant and Marnie if Marnie pulls his finger out. Um, but, yeah, Clyde and I probably a long-term option, but still will make some good cash moving forward. Thoughts on Murata near Kore? No. Probably goes back to the bench. Sean Russell comes in in a couple of weeks and just go from there. I don't really see him being a long-term option. Uh, if I had to choose one out of Wilton or Nanai to sell, to buy, to captain, to loop, like I need more context. I'm assuming you mean selling. I would be selling at Nanai. Uh, cashing Manu in for a few weeks for Graham and potentially Tupo Lomax Aiken. Nice, man. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. Um... Grant or Teddy captain? I captained Teddy last week, so I'm against it. Yeah, uh, yeah. It hurt, but I would be doubling down on Teddy this week. Kick out to Manu to sidewards. No, it's a cash grab. So, and Manu's got a great draw, so I don't hate it. Thoughts on Wilton to Cotter, Cobo to Neocore? No. Oh, there's a lot of questions I'm missing. Hey, mate, Billy Smith and Max King for Cooler and Cotter. I would not be trading at Max King just yet. There's still plenty of cash to be made there. Um, who would I play in draft? Corey Horsburgh or Cohen Hess? Corey Horsburgh. Yeah, I'd be playing horse there. Jones, Stags for Coates and JTB. I don't know. I don't know. Stags' draw is not ideal. Um, I know he had a great game against the Roosters. I'm just not confident that he continually strings it together. Um, thoughts on Billy Smith to Cooler and then Bradley to Grant. Nice. Kiri to Walker. A decent enough trade. Can't believe Kiri hasn't had a big game yet. Yeah, I mean, Kiri's like a perennial 55, 60 point average through the years gone by. So he has been like a massive disappointment, unfortunately. Um, thoughts on a AFB and a Mono to Cooler. I don't know. I think AFB is going to play some decent minutes this week with Matt Lodge out. So I'd probably give him another week. Someone get Josh an espresso. I know, man. I'm really tired tonight for some reason. I just can't stop you. I'm going to take a shot of, um, of pre-workout before. So I go to the gym after the footy. I need to wake up because I've, I've still got a lot to do today. Um, I hope McInnes gets the starting job next week before he goes up in price too much. Yeah, I'm eyeing off McInnes heavily. I think McInnes will be a fantastic buy for someone like a, a Randall. He'll be a great upgrade. Um, thoughts on Schneider as a smoky VC? <sighs> Great base, goal kicking. I just don't see the the Raiders putting up a heap of points tonight. They might score like 22, 24 points. But like, is that enough to VC where you've got guys in Penrith, you've got guys uh, in the Rooster side that you could VC? I just much prefer those guys personally. Um, and then you've obviously got the, the, the Paramount game at the end of the round. Do you know if Katoa is still on the bench with Lodge out? Yeah, nothing has changed there um, from what I know. Would you put your last reserve on Schneider? Yes. Yeah, trade. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Cool. I'm stuck. Can't decide what to do. With what? I don't know what you mean, my man. Um, I'm on to... Co I'll tell you what it is. I had some pasta before. I think I'm having a carb crash. Um, it's the SA Nodcast. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm having a... I think I'm having a, I think I'm having a carb crash because I don't eat that many carbs. Like, for you guys that follow me on like a bit of a weight loss journey, we're down 36 kilos. So I really haven't been eating many carbs. I had some pasta tonight for the first time in like four months. So I think I'm just having a carb crash. Um, Randall to Cook, Ellie Katoa to Campbell Graham, Smith to Cooler. Is that Billy Smith? Yeah. I like that. I like that at all. Um, I like that a lot. Sorry, not, not at all. Uh, I know it's a risk selling, but Teddy to Taff allows me to go Nenai to Ipap, Lenyu to Lolo. Yeah, I was debating with that too. Like, if I traded Teddy, I could have got, like, two big upgrades in Cook and um, what's his name? Ipap. But I decided against it. I just feel like Cotter will provide me decent enough cover for now. Arrow to Cotter, absolutely not. Arrow to Tam... Okay, I'm, I'm not letting... I don't care. Arrow's out for a week. Don't trade him out. He's out for a week. Just chill. No one's trading at Haas. Just don't trade at Arrow. Just chill. Find another way to get um, Cotter in if you have to. Maccas, Dominoes, or KFC tonight? Ooh, I haven't had it either in such a long time. But you can't turn down a good dirty bird. Get KFC. 
Um, people saying, yeah, people, it, I, even if Arrow doesn't play, I still don't love the trade. Um, who am I picking for the blue center spot to replace Luttrell? Graham, Crichton, or Burton? I just find it hard that Burton gets picked. Like, I know that he, he was like the center of the year last year. I don't know. I just feel like they go with like Campbell Graham. He was in the he was in the squad last year, like in the like the the extended squad. So I think Freddie just picks it. But they need a oh fucking hell! I need to stop you on. They need a specialist left center, don't they? Because because Latrell was playing on the left. But then again, like both centers roam. I don't know. I just pick Campbell Graham personally. Um, who would I play out of Tom Deaton and Toby Sexton? I would play Deaton. Yeah, I'd play Deaton. Teddy to IPAP and Moses. Sure. Uh, like, that's the only way that you sell Teddy is just getting in two guns personally. Um, that's just that's just me. Bullymore to IPAP, Martin to Cooler, or Tedesco to Moses, Martin to... Me- no, I just prefer the first trade. I just like the, the, the Bullymore to IPAP, Martin to Cooler trade. Wasn't Haas suspended for two weeks initially? Um, no. So, like, there was reports it'd be two weeks, but nothing was ever confirmed. So, he's only out for a week. Apple or Android? Um, Apple. It's not a not a question, not a debate at all. Hey, man, I think it's too early to bring in McInnes for Nanai, or should I just bring in Cotter or Jones instead? I would bring in Cotter. Wait a week on McInnes. He had inflated minutes because of the Wilton HIA. Um, but just... Yeah, monitor it because I think he's a good option next week. I pop and cooler for Tiga Wilton and Nanai or Tamalolo, TPJ and cooler in for Wilton and I coats. I wouldn't be trading out coats at all. I just think like he's just a cheap version of AJ. I don't know what we're looking at. Um, you can still eat carbs even if you're on a weight loss journey, my man. I know. I'm 100% aware, my man. Um, I just don't really like eating them because... I just feel pretty crap afterwards. I don't know. Like, ever since, like, my metabolism has changed, my taste buds have changed. And, like, yeah, I just... Whenever I have, like, really carb-heavy foods, I feel terrible after... Not terrible, but just, like, like this. I just feel really tired and sluggish. So, um, I had some pasta tonight because it was easy. And, yeah, I really regret it. i just not really enjoying it. Um, I've got Kickout and Lukey both. Hit- oh, also, by the way, I've, I am I'm missing a heap of questions. So if I don't get them, just put them in again. That's fine. Um, I'm just with the how fast the chat's going. I, I miss a couple of them. Um, I've got Kickout and Lucy both in my two RF with Lolo and Defi. Would you get rid of one of these? Depends on who's in your front row because you can get Lolo up there, which is fine. Uh, I'm not confident on Lucy going forward though, so probably he'd be the first one I trade out. Best front row forward or two RF under 250k. There's there's not a whole lot, my man. Not a whole lot at all. Like Brody Jones is two seventy five, but like there's not much. Who would win the fight between a taco and a grilled cheese sandwich? Um, I don't know. Like hard taco, crumble very like, very easily if it got hit. Like it just just would shatter. Um, whereas the cheese sandwich is like quite quite like spongy, quite quite absorbent. So I'd back I'd back the cheese sandwich there. Um, preference DC or Sam Walker I just like Sam Walker You guys know my love for Sam Walker Quite a change to starter He has been um, Can you teach us how to hit them golf balls Like you My swing game is weak af uh, I don't know man I've been playing since I was like 12 So <laughs> Just start playing Practice more um, I didn't work for two I didn't work for two years Because of my eyesight So I got a lot of time to hit golf balls Just practice a lot my man um, it could be insulin spike after carbs. Yeah, probably. I don't, I don't eat many carbs these days. Um, so, yeah, it might be it. Do you see Cotter as a must-have? Absolutely not. I don't know why my volume is so loud. Um, absolutely not. Like, I don't see Cotter as a must-have. I just think he's like a nice option to have. He should be like a safe 60 points available in your, your hooker. Like just a cheap day being cooked. So that's why I've done it. Um, do we think Drinky is getting more games and a genuine option? Too risky with no reward. Yeah, I can't trust the Cowboys. Um, Drinky looked great last week, but like, is it his spot when Hammer comes back? Like, that's the issue. I know you say no to Arrow to Cotter, but it allowed me to also go King to iPad, which means I can carry through Parley and Haas of the Year. Okay, well, yeah, that changes it. Um, if you can get, if you're making one sideways trade to upgrade elsewhere, then I don't hate that. Um, what is my spirit animal? 
I don't know. It's like very cliche to say like, oh, Michael Scott from The Office. But probably that. I don't know. I'm going to start watching Suits. I've heard good things about Suits. And I've also heard good things about Peaky Blinders. So I need to pick one of those. And I might get a spirit, spirit animal out of that. Um, but I don't know. Last reserve at a Randall, Max King, Taff, Ilias, Kobo, Cooler. Uh, I was faced with a very similar decision and I landed on Ilias, my man. Hi, is Cooler a play against the Titans? Thanks. Uh, I'm not playing him, but I can see why you would. Pick one, Starling to Grant or Schneider to Moses. Schneider to Moses. I wouldn't be selling Starling just yet. Who should you captain this round for advice? Um, let me pull up all my captaincy posts, all my captaincy options from the podcast. I've got all my show notes here. Cleary VC, May VC, Tago VC, DCE VC, Grant VC, Pappenhausen C, Munster C, Hines C, Teddy C, Moses C, Brown C, Gutho C. If you have any of them, that's my advice. I'm going Moses in for Teddy via Hines. The plan has been Cleary in for Moses in around three or four weeks when Para have... I uh, don't love that because you're buying Cleary in, what, round 10? And he plays Origin at round 12? I don't love that. Um... Thoughts on the trades this year? Do you prefer the mega trades of last year? Do we still get five trades origin time? I don't know. Like, do we still get the five trades? Or is it like, is it like change now with the trade boosts? Um, suits is solid. Suits is top tier. Peaky Blinders is peak two. But I'd go with Suits first. All right. Good to know. Uh, thoughts on James Sesco and William kick out, out for Jason Tamalolo and Joe Manu. And then I can bring down Hines to pair with Pap and use Joe Manu to get Cleary. Um, sure. I don't know. I find these like Teddy out things so weird. Like I find a lot of people trading at Teddy strange because I guess I already have Cleary. Like I sacrificed for feeder for Cleary. So like I can't fathom doing it for someone cheaper, but that's just me personally. Um, is Nano Dakota sidewards? Absolutely not. Uh, Ilias or Schneider? I would go Ilias. Thoughts on Graham as a sneaky VC? I like that. Would you run Grant and Cook? IPAP and Murray, Moses, and Sam Walker. Oh, sorry. Would I, would I run Grant and Cookie, IPAP and Moses, or Moses and Walker? I would run Grant and Cook. Uh, let's see how the Mighty Tigers play with Hastings in the seven jersey. Yeah, man, he's he's the key. We're gonna we're gonna win. We're not gonna, we're not gonna win. We're gonna get fucking slaughtered. Uh, any bets on the game tonight? I have not looked. Um, what is? Someone tell me what the, what the what the handicap is, and I will give my tips then. Someone tell me what the what the spread is for tonight's game. Can Supercoach learn something from the Tigers and allow us to pick seven captains in it this week? I need it too, my man. I need it too. Watch five episodes of Suits before you make up your mind on it. Okay, good to know. Uh, VC for feeder with a pod cap on Sam Walker or Dylan Brown. I prefer Brown. I actually had Brown in my top. I actually had Brown in my top five captains for this week. Um, I'm going with VC Manu, St. Moses. Awesome, my man. Hiku out, Tago down, center wing. IPAP in, Teddy out, Hines down to fullback, Moses in. Yeah, okay, I understand that. Like, you're getting a lot in there, so I don't hate that. Uh, so the line's five and a half tonight. Um, I'd probably take minus five and a half the Raiders, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think I'll actually put a bet on the spread. I like the Raiders six plus there, so I would be doing that. Um, give me a first try score pick. Hey, hey, if you guys were on the stream a couple of weeks ago, I told that bloke to put Braden Hamlin Ueli as his, his anytime try score. I think that paid five bucks. I was fucking ecstatic with that. Um, all right. Uh, what was my rank after last week's score? Um, it's just there, my man. 3,862. So we went down a fair bit. Um, we were at like, what, 480. Had a very poor score. We dropped down rankings, which is not ideal. Uh, moving forward, I can assure you that I've learned from this lesson and will never happen again. I don't know what we're talking about. Good morning, Jonathan, but good to know that you have learned from your mistakes. Thanks again, man, for another week of tips and guidance. Hope you get the team back on track this round. I uh, know, man. Like the first two rounds were, were rough. We, we bounced back rounds three and four. We bounced back hard. We got into the top 500. And then the boys just capitulated last week. As you can see, they're like 43 from Tupo, 15 from Coates, 40 from Panasini. Like, just... Wrong captaincy choices. So hopefully the boys fire fire and bounce back. Um, IPAP versus Cam Murray. <clears throat> I would go IPAP. What betting apps? Uh, mate, I am not sponsored by Top Sport. <laughs> like every other Supercoach podcast in the world. But I just, I don't know. I don't, don't really do sponsorships that often. Uh, I just use Sportsbet because it's the most user-friendly for me. 
Uh, going panth going to the Panthers Broncos game tomorrow. Tipping the thirty plus Panthers. Um, sticky Nikki. I think a lot of the Supercoach Tragics boys are going to that game. Um, if you want to go meet up with some other like-minded Supercoach dudes, jump on the Supercoach Tragics Facebook page. I think they're all going to the game. If you want to go chat with them, if not, then fine. Oh, you're quoting Montoya, Jonathan. Moving forward, I can only assure you that I've learned from this lesson and it will never happen again. So what he means is he's just not going to get caught again because at 30 years old or whatever you are, you shouldn't be using that word. You should just be more educated and not be a fuckwit. Um... Ilias or Lukey, last reserve, Lukey starting. I would be going... Yeah, like, what kind of minutes is Lukey going to get, though? Like, such, such a fucking weird bench. I just still go Ilias. I like the upside. Uh, how many trades do I have left? I have used nine trades, so... 33 trades left, I think. Uh... Tom, I agree that four weeks for a word is stupid, but, like, don't use the word in the first place. Like, I agree that it's not a good... The the, pun, the punishment is not indicative of the crime, but don't put yourself in that spot if you're Montoya. That's just my two cents. Tamalolo, anytime $8.50. Juicy. I wish you could back assists, because, like, Lolo is, like, developing some handy ball playing. That'd be nice. Um, I wouldn't mind one of the edge boys just to score. I don't like whatever whatever Luke he's paying. Um, he could be a decent shout. Uh, questions have slowed down a tad, which is not too bad. I can sort of catch up on and answer some more questions in a little bit more detail if you guys have any of them. <clears throat> what are we all up to this weekend, though? Anyone? Ha anyone have any plans? I was tempted to. Tempted to go to the Easter show, travel from Newcastle to Sydney. I've never been before, so I might go to the Easter show. Um, I don't think he meant it in a homophobic way, in my opinion, just to hear the moment. Yeah, I get that, but like, I don't know. It's just not a word that like it should be in a 30 year old's vocabulary. Like, do, do you not agree? Like, I don't want to get too political, but like, I don't know. That word just should not be in your vocabulary at all. He's low key silky now. If we're referring to Lolo, he's got like some soft hands. I like it. Or also, I don't mind Cotter. Anytime try scorer, he could be handy. Um, if you don't have clear, you reckon wait until after Origin at this point. Yeah, I would be because like by the time you get on him at good value, like I wouldn't be buying him next week. I wouldn't. Buy, I'd be just buying him when he bottoms out. And by that time, it's probably at Origin, and I would just be waiting. Butter or Radley, I'd be going Cotter. Um, Cooler Jones or Randall last reserve. I would go Randall. No. Randall. Yeah, Randall, because Jones has got that niggle and Cooler playing in the weird center spot. I don't love it. Is having Aiken in center wing any good, or should I move him to second row? I have... No. I mean, just play him at, at center wing. That's fine. Um, home with COVID, so sneaking beers. Newcastle is God's country. Happening part of the world, mate. I love Newcastle. It's nice, so... It's good. I enjoy where I live. Uh, thoughts on Jack Bird? Sell a hold. Boy, he's not looking good, is he? I would be... Probably, I wouldn't be selling this week, but definitely on the on the on the watch list. Getting stabbed at the Easter show. I know it sounds sounds ideal. Shout out to that poor dude that, that did get stabbed. Um, Hiku to Jones. I like that move. Frees up a lot of cash. Yeah, I think instead of four weeks should be a fine. I agree. I'm not saying that four weeks is a fair time frame. I just don't think that that word should ever be used by anyone. Really. Uh, I'm off to Parramatta Tigers game to watch Tigers get slaughtered. Yeah, unfortunately, you're gonna go watch them get pumped. Um. Murray and Crichton to IPAP and Campbell Graham. Yes. No. No. I wouldn't be doing that. I would not be doing that. I think Crichton gets to start back very, very soon. Um, we're all talking about the Montoya thing, so I reckon we just leave it at that. Uh, when Teddy to TPJ via Jules as a pod, let's me get clear in next week. What do I think? I don't love that personally. Um, I need to get rid of Martin or Firma to get an IPAP. I'd trade out Martin because Firma still has a little bit of cash to make. Um, Reese Robson, anytime. Which team do I have to follow, mate? I follow the Tigers, unfortunately. I don't hate the Reese Robson shout either. He could be a decent option. Swapped out Tino for Tamalolo. I like that. Tino has just not been good at all. Like, just he's Tino's been shocking, and I'm so glad. Like, I missed. I was very tempted by him when he got the captaincy. I thought he'd have this like uptick in performance, and it just hasn't happened. So, yeah. 
Uh, what's the difference between switching Hines and Taff from fullback to halfback? I just be, I'd be playing two two fullbacks week in week out. I don't think I'd play Taff sometimes, so that's the reason why. Where in Newcastle do you live? You live there as well. Um, I live in a suburb, mate. I live in a suburb in Newcastle. I'm not going to dox myself. No, I live in Jesmond. Um, I live in, in Jezzo. Uh, is Teague Wilton a sell this week? I would say yes. Cotter, or, does Cleary break even scare you in price loss? No, because I bought him knowing full well that we were going to lose cash, just like when people bought Turbo. Uh, I'm not too fast. Cotter or Campbell Graham, bro, via Jules. I would go Campbell Graham. I still have Bullymore and will sell whenever he gets picked. Is this okay? I know it's money off the bench, but it's not stressed about him. Thoughts? Sure. If there's no one to sell him to, no point rushing to do it. Best second row forward is not playing Origin. Uh, Maddo, Lolo, IPAP. Does Isaiah Yo play Origin this year, we reckon? There's probably a couple off the top of my head. Um, how do you get stuck following the, t- the Tigers when following Queensland? Um, so I was born in Brizzy. I was born in Brisbane uh, in 97, so I'm 24. Lived there for eight years. Moved to regional New South Wales when I was younger. And... The earliest footy memory I have is watching the Tigers win the 2005 Grand Final. So that's, I guess, why I've got the weird allegiance. I remember the Tigers winning the Grand Final and just started going for them when I was like eight years old. And yeah, Queensland, just because I was born there and lived there. Uh, I grew up there, so that's that's why. Five foot six inches and you've lost 36 kilos. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I was 100 and 127 kg. I was a big boy. Um, and now I'm down to 93 this morning. Yeah, 93 this morning. So... Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I was a big, big dude. Just put on a bunch of weight. Just not eating healthy. COVID, all that. Just a fat prick. Um, Fox and Daily Telegraph reported that TAF, TAS is in for Josh Mansour, apparently. Maybe a reshuffle, but nothing out. Arrow confirmed. Yeah, uh, TAS could definitely be a, a buy soon, um, which will be fantastic for us. Uh, what are you training at the gym? Uh, I just do strength training, man. I just do weight training. I do a push, push-pull leg split and just do a little bit of cardio when I can be bothered. Yeah, just do like push pull legs six times a week, one rest day, and yeah, just walk for 30 minutes on the treadmill like two or three times a week if I can be bothered. Um, thinking of going Teddy to Moses to get Cleary as my second boost. Thinking of going Teddy to Moses to get Cleary in as my second boost. I don't know if I'd be buying Cleary this week. I mean, his break even is 202. It's a big, big ask. Um, Yo definitely plays Origin. Murray in the second row. Don't hate that. Teddy J Turbo. Why do you own J Turbo? What is what is happening? Teddy J Turbo. Tino out. Moses Cotter. Lolo in. Is that decent? No. Can you just do Tino and and Jerbo out for Cotter and Lolo? Like, is that possible? Um, what suburb in Brizzy? I think it was. Is it Alexander Park or Alexander Hills or something? Let me. I'll get you the exact suburb. I can't remember. I was so young. Um, Alexander Brisbane suburb Alexandra Hills. That's where I grew up when I was when I was a young Tucker. Uh, congratulations, that's a mighty effort. Thank you, Rob C, my man. Um, last reserve, Randall Cooler, Tuilagi or Jones, Tuilagi. That's tough. That's a tough one. I'm not keen on Jones. I'm not keen on Randall. I don't think Randall plays 80. Then you're down between like a, a, a center on the non-dominant side or two at Luggy. Actually, I'd go cooler there, to be honest. The Benji flick pass here yeah, got me mesmerized when I was a young boy. Is Campbell just a bit of a boring trade? And we'll get 60 odd consistently, but not much ceiling. Uh, it's looking like that, to be honest. Like, he's a safe 60 with like when he scores a try, he goes for 80. Like, I don't mind that. I think that's fine. What's my max deadlift? Um, I haven't deadlifted for a while. But like I don't know, I don't, I don't deadlift. I do Roma- I do I do Romanians. Um, I don't really deadlift for aesthetics. That's just me. Um, bring Cotter in for around thirteen cover. That's what I'm doing. So is Jai Arrow out? Nothing confirmed. Um, Jamal Fogarty reported still ten weeks away. Just got the brace off today, according to Ricky Stewart. Wow, he's still a long way away. So that's fine. Should I trade out Bird Gildart? <laughs> Teddy for IPAP Moses and Tupelotu or Tass. No, I wouldn't be taking a pun on any of those two TPs just yet. Just wait. Um, but yeah, I don't know. You're really only bringing in IPAP and, and Moses and try to get Teddy. I don't know. I think Teddy with captaincy could cover those two. Um, I don't rate Teddy to Moses. Not really. 
I just think it's kind of a backwards trade, personally. Max King or Tuolagi? Max King. Thoughts on Aiken going forward? I'm holding through First Origin. Yeah. Um, I think that was the reason why a lot of people bought him. Um, I also do Romanians, Winky Fest. Hey. Um, am I starting to plan out Origin buy coverage? Not yet. I'm not, I'm not like stressing over it. I'm definitely keeping the back of mind. Uh, it's a factor as to why I want IPAP. It's a factor as to why I, I, I want, why I went Ruben Cotter as well. And it's a factor why I'm holding Lolo for a while. So, not it's not the be all and end all of my trades, but it's definitely something I'm considering. Um, but yeah, I'm not like not fussed over it. Wrong slide as usual. Uh, last reserve, Max King, Schneider, Ilias, or Tuolagi. I'm going Ilias, that is like the upside. Um, Schneider, Smith, Tuolagi for IPAPs, Taff, and Naduki. No. Can you explain the origin period? It's my first time playing. Of course, my man. Let me, let me pull up the draws. Guys in the chat, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but round 12... All the Origin players go into camp, yeah? So they're going to miss round 12. Round 13, you're affected by the buys. So like half the teams don't play. So for example, in round 13, the teams that aren't playing are Parramatta, the Storm, the Knights, the Broncos, the Tigers, the Rabbits, the Dragons, and the Knights. So they're all not playing in round 13. The Origin players come back. They'll play back in round 14, round 15, whatever. Um, they might play reduced minutes. And then round 17 rolls around, and then the other team, the other teams that played round, round 13 get the week off. So you need to manage how many numbers you have for round 13. Don't go crazy. You don't need to field a full team, but like if you get 12 or 13, that'd be fine. Um, be wary that your origin players might not be playing the full 80. Um, so yeah, I think they go into camp round 12 and round 16, and then the buyers around 13 or round 17. Like I said, guys, please correct me if I'm wrong, um, but... Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Um, how can you find out how points are scored? Uh, I can probably just put it in the chat. Hang on. NRL super coach scoring. I could just I just put it in the chat for you. Uh, if this comes across weird, I apologize. Uh, I can't do it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Ah. All right. Well, there's... Hang on. Just follow that link. It gives you the... It gives you the things. Um, yeah, I'll just remove that. Follow that link. It gives you the scoring. And you can find it. Presumably, a lot of Origin players get rested as well, right? Yeah, they do. Um, yeah, so round 12, they go into camp. They won't play round 12. Round 13, they might come back and play sweet FA minutes. They might play nothing. Um, so it's just a really, really tough time to manage. If you if you don't follow the, like, the late mail, you're in for a world of hurt come Origin time. So, yeah. The wiki link is good. Had no idea it'd be out there, to be honest. Yeah, someone made a wiki link on it, which is great. Um, just gets to the scoring and stuff. Like, there was a couple of new scoring things added this year, like holding a player up in goal. Uh, that's worth three points. Um, like, kick that goes dead. That's like, it's just all these stuff that you don't really think of. They're handy. I don't like how a missed field goal is one point or minus one point, and then a kick in dead is worth three. That is a bit weird. Uh, who did I captain last week? Captain Cleary last week. I took it off Heinz the very last minute, which was not ideal. I don't love that. I wish I just kept it on Heinz. Um, we took it off Cleary to chase to chase points, and it didn't didn't pay off. Um, yeah. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong thing. Uh, but that's basically how we're heading into the rounds. IPAP or Cam Murray. I've answered this one a couple of times. I would be going, uh, going IPAP. Um, but we've been going for forty five minutes now, guys. I think that's going to wrap it up for tonight. And go grab um, something to drink. Sports bit offering ten bucks for Cowboys thirteen plus. Oof, tasty. I'm just I'm taking the Raiders minus line. I think. 
hate the whole origin part of Supercoach. Yeah, man, I do. I do too. Um, I just wish they just cancel it. <laughs> Hang on, origin players going to camp once they finish round 12. Right? I, do they or do they go in at the start of round 12? I can't remember. Because they normally... They norm, they're normally back and playing round 13. So I just I thought they went in at the end of round 11. I might be off. But I just, yeah. Might, let me know. Uh, if I miss field goal, it goes dead in goal. Is that minus four? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I, I can't remember it happening. So, yeah. Uh, it's kickoff 7.50. I thought it was 8.05. Um, but, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me, I think. Um, Supercoach will be very different when there's a buy every week. Uh, yeah, it used to happen a couple of years ago, many years ago. Now, when I when I first started playing, there was buys every week. So, yeah. Thoughts on my VC Hines and C Papali'i? It's a pod shout. I don't mind it. IPAP. If someone asks me IPAP or camera one more time, I'm going to shave my head on camera. Um, IPAP. All right, guys. That's going to wrap it up for me. Um, enjoy your round. Obviously, I'll be posting updates on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook as usual. If we do well you'll know if I do poorly you'll know I'll let you all know um, but yeah enjoy this week should be good should be throwing up a lot of um, hang on have I tried intermittent fasting spend most of my days in electrician wheelchair so it worked lost 20 kilos uh, it doesn't matter intermittent fasting it doesn't change the, the only reason why intermittent fasting works is because some people have busy lives and they can't fit all their food in over a day so they do it in a small period means it doesn't really change anything it doesn't change your metabolism rate or your um, caloric deficit or your calories you know your calories out just all it does is just help you re- like just reduce the time you eat but yeah alright guys that's me done um, enjoy have a good week up the Tigers Mitch Moses to score 45 points and you all to cry